This is Science Max. Experiments at large. Science Max! Greetings, Science Maximites. Welcome to Science Max. Experiments at large. My name is Phil, and today on Science Max, we're going to be harnessing the awesome power of lightning! <laughs> How are we harnessing the power of lightning, you ask? With this balloon. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, what's similar between a balloon and lightning? Well, nothing right now. But behold, as I use the power of static electricity and rub the balloon on my head. Because basically, that's how it starts. You see, when I rub this balloon on my head, it's stealing electrons from me creating a positive charge in my hair and a negative charge in the balloon. And the interesting thing is, you know that things with opposite charges attract each other, right? Something that has a positive charge will attract negative things and vice versa. But anything with a charge will attract anything with a neutral charge. See all these things on the table? They all have a neutral charge, which means they've got equal amounts of positive and negative. Right now, this balloon is building up a big negative charge, which means it will be attracted to all of these things. This can of Science Max Soda, it has a neutral charge. The balloon has a negative charge, which means the can will be attracted to the balloon. And this paper is neutrally charged, which means the paper will be attracted to the balloon. And if you hold the negatively charged balloon next to neutrally charged sugar, ha ha, sugar storm. And you probably, wait, I don't want to get sugar in my hair. And you probably know this trick. If you rub a balloon on your head, you can stick it on the wall. Ha ha! But what does any of this have to do with lightning? Well, the same thing is going on with a lightning bolt. The clouds become negatively charged, and that negative charge wants to equalize itself with the ground, which is neutrally charged. And that lightning bolt is the electricity jumping from one place to another. And you can see this yourself. If you rub a balloon on your head and you put it next to something metal, like a doorknob, there'll be a spark. But here's another thing you can do if you don't have a balloon, which I guess I don't anymore. Rub your feet, if you're wearing socks, on a carpet, and then turn out all the lights and touch a doorknob. You might be able to see a spark jump from your finger to the door. That's lightning in a very, very small form. Ha, 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 ha!